Yeah, this is page two of the polynomial review. If you've watched page one, you know the deal. If you can handle these, then you can probably handle anything in the workbook. These ones are getting more complicated and more interesting. All right, so we're still doing polynomials, and this is a binomial times another binomial. So we're going to FOIL. 2s times 5s is 10s squared. That's my first number outside. 2s times minus 9, so minus 18s. And we do my insides. Minus 8 times 5s is minus 40s. And then minus 8 times minus 9 is going to give me plus 72. So 10s squared. Now minus 18 and minus 40 is going to be minus 58. And notice it's just plain s, right? Because at this point, I'm just adding. And then plus 72. Yet another polynomial, binomial times a binomial. Um, but my brain says, be a little bit careful because look at, we've got a squared and just a T and then nothing and a T. So I have to be careful with my exponents. Seven times eight is 56 T squared. Seven times minus nine is minus 63 T to the third. And then I've got 12 times 8. Uh, 12 times 8 is 96. 96 T. And then 12 times minus 9 is minus 108 T squared. Now let's take a look. We have a T cubed, so minus 63 T cubed, sending order. That comes first. Now we've got 56 and minus 108. It's minus 52 t squared plus 96 t. All right, this one here is a binomial times a polynomial. I'm going to just use a version of FOIL. Um, you could do this vertically, but basically I'm running out of room. So we'll do it this way. So 2x times 4x squared is going to give me 8x cubed. So I'm distributing. So there's my first. And then I go to this one, minus 2 times 3 is 6x squared, and I have to distribute a third time. 2x times minus 6 is minus 12x. So it's kind of like the FOIL concept, except you're distributing three times instead of just two. And then I turn around and do the exact same thing with the minus 5. Minus 5 times 4 is minus 20x squared. Minus 5 times minus 3 is plus 15x. Uh, and minus 5 times minus 6 is plus 30. So I've got an x cubed. I've got an x squared. And I've got another x squared. So minus 26x squared. And then I've got 12x and 15x. That's minus and that's plus. So the difference there is going to be plus 3x plus 30. And there's a final answer. All right. Now this last part is division. Oh, second last part. Okay. So when you divide, you um, divide your numbers and subtract your exponents. So 75 divided by 15. And then we have x squared. 13 divided by minus 26. Now, be careful. I'm going to show you my calculator. 13, oopsies, it would help if you could see that. Divide by minus 26. All right, it's minus a half or minus 0 0.5. Be careful when you're doing division 
with the bigger numbers on the bottom, if the denominator is bigger, then your answer is going to be less than 1. So negative 0 0.5. Now we've got C to the minus 5. A couple of things happening there. Um, because we have we still follow the rule, so 3 minus 8 gives you the minus 5. And then y, there was no y at the bottom, so we just brought them along. You could also have 4, negative 0 0.5 y over c to the fifth. Okay, with that negative exponent there, draw the little nuts. Um, take a look at some of these worksheets. There's at least one worksheet that's completely on negative exponents, and we'll help you understand that. All right, 40 divided by minus 2 is going to give me minus 20. a to the fifth. Oops. I'm going to redo this how I would suggest you redo it. And that is to write it. I started thinking that I was just doing an answer key for me. And then you know what? I kind of forgot you were there. Sorry, don't take that personal. So with the binomial on top, what I normally do is I just break it up and write out the denominator, the bottom part twice, way easier to do and less likely to make a mistake. So try that again. 40 divided by minus two is minus 20. A4, C3. Minus 36 divided by minus two is gonna be plus 36 divided by two is gonna be 18. A squared divided by A is A c to the 9 divided by c to the 4 is going to give me a c. One thing I'm going to check, because this is a negative on the bottom, my final answer should have the opposite signs of what I started with. So this was a plus 40, it's now negative. This is a minus 36, it's now plus 18. Okay. Uh, another way you can write a division question instead of writing it in a fractional form is to write it with brackets and a division sign. This one's nicer because honestly, from an inductor point, it's easier to type. But I still do the same thing. And actually, it's a little bit easier here. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. a to the fourth divided by a to the first. So 4 minus the understood 1 is a3. And b to the 7 and that understood b1, so that's going to be b6. Minus 24 divided by 3, it's 8. a to the 4th divided by a to the 1st is a3. b9 divided by b is going to be b8. Plus 3ab divided by ooh, 1. Make sure you got that one there. That was the trick question in this section besides that negative exponent. One thing you can do when you're doing this kind of division, if there are one, two, three terms, and you're dividing by a monomial, there should be one, two, three terms in your final answer. Like there were two here, and there's two there. All right, so that was division. This last little part is on simplifying. So this is kind of like order of operations. And now you're taking that bed mouse information and also applying it to variables. So you're throwing in some x's and y's. Okay, so order of operation says, I'm gonna start with my innermost set of brackets, which is there, but truth be told, there is nothing I can do. I can't go nine minus x squared. So it's gonna be this part that I'm gonna deal with first. So three x squared minus two, now square bracket, 3x plus 9 minus x squared. And that was really boring because really I can't even put those together. Oh well. So we're going to multiply through now. So 3x squared. So minus 2 times 3x is minus 6x. Minus 2 times 9 is minus 18. Minus 2 times minus x squared is plus 2x squared. I need that to get rid of my brackets because I distributed all the way through. 
Now I can collect some like terms. There's an x squared, there's an x squared. 5x squared minus 6x minus 18. All right. Sorry, that wasn't really very exciting, was it? Last one, and sorry it's so squishy and small. I'll see what I can do on your worksheet to make it bigger for you. Oh, let's look in our brackets. There is, yeah, nothing to do, right? Because those are not like terms, but I can distribute that negative. That's going to be my first spot thing to do. 6x cubed minus 3x minus 2x cubed minus 5x. All divided by 4x. Remember, with ones like this, you're going to simplify the top as much as you can. And OK, usually it's simplified the bottom, but there's nothing to do down there. X cubed, X cubed. So 6 minus 2 is 4X cubed minus, oh, minus 3 minus 5. So it's going to be a minus 8X divided by 4X. And now I'm going to divide, split it out. So 4 divided by 4, that's going to cancel to 1. I'm just going to get X left minus 8x divided by x is f. x's are going to cancel, 8. All right, so there we are. So you should um, be able to make a decision, an informed decision now, once you look at your answer key, um, how much of the booklet you need to do. Practice, 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 practice makes it permanent. Practice makes it stay there when you get stressed.